Saint Mena is considered the most well-known saint in the East and the West due to the many miracles that are performed through his prayers for us. That is evident in the numerous little clay bottles on which his name and picture are engraved. He was praised and admired for his bravery in battle, his patience, and his self-discipline. Saint Mena was born in Egypt in the year 285 in the city of Nicias, which lies in the vicinity of Memphis. His mother, Euphemia, was a saintly woman who was without any children. Like Elizabeth and Hannah, she prayed to God for a child. On the feast of Saint Mary, the mother was praying in front of the icon of the Virgin with tears that God may give her a blessed son. A sound came to her ears, saying, Amen. Shortly later, they had a son, and they named him Mena, which meant Amen. Mena remained devoted and prayerful from a young age, and he sustained that unwavering faith throughout his entire lifetime. His father, a military officer of Egypt, died when Mena was 14 years old. And also when he was 14 years old, his mother died as well. A year later, he chose to join the military. By 15, he was given a high rank because of his father's reputation and was appointed in Algeria. In 298, the emperor published an edict ordering everyone to worship the idols. Those serving in the legions were ordered to capture and persecute Christians. As soon as Mena heard this impious decree, he threw down his soldier's belt, a sign of military rank, and withdrew to a mountain above Cotillon. He started living an ascetical life of fasting and prayer. There he remained for several years as a hermit in fasting and prayer. He became very connected to God and the heavenly beings while spending time in the desert. During this period, he was cleansed from all impurities of body and spirit. One day, Mena had a vision. He saw the heavens open and the martyrs crowned with beautiful crowns. He heard a voice saying, He who toils for the name of the Lord Christ shall receive these crowns. Immediately, he felt as if the earth under him was vanishing and he was overwhelmed with great eagerness to be carried away to heaven. At that time, Saint Mena was approximately 50 years old. This is a quick break to make an appeal to our viewers who watch and learn from our videos. We have been making one new video every week for the last three years. Being a team of very few people, this is such a huge feat for us. We were able to produce these videos using the revenue generated from YouTube and by the support of our kind-hearted viewers via Patreon and PayPal donations. The last few months had been really tough for us. There was a significant decline in YouTube revenues. The drop is almost 50% compared to last year. Here is our appeal. If you think you and your kids learn something from our videos or benefit in any kind, then please support us by making a one-time donation through PayPal or become a supporter on Patreon. Your support will go a long way in keeping up with the productions and bringing the amazing stories of saints to life. Remember, 
every small contribution helps. It can be as low as $2, the price of your next coffee. Support us to keep making more videos. God bless you. He left the mountain and went into the city where the people were celebrating a pagan festival. Standing in the midst of the crowd, he shouted, There is only one true God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Those who heard his voice left their dancing and their games and went to see who had disrupted the festival, marveling at his boldness. They seized and beat him. Then they brought him before Pyrrhus, the city prefect. When the prefect discovered who this hermit was, he was shocked. He offered him the most excellent spot in the army if Mena would offer sacrifice to idols. Mena flatly rejected the offer, saying, I really am a soldier, but I prefer to be a soldier of my Lord Jesus Christ. When the prefect heard this, he became enraged and had the saint thrown into prison. Mena was subjected to many cruel tortures. The prefect urged him to offer sacrifice to the idols, but the martyr remained firm in his faith, saying that he would never deny Christ. Mena was ordered to be tormented even further. Seeing that he could not persuade Mena, the prefect ordered that he be taken outside the city and beheaded. After beheading, they tried to burn his body, but the flames did not affect it. He had become pure, and his body was already incorrupt. The believers in town assembled together and secured Mena's body. They loaded his body on a camel and headed towards the western desert. At a certain spot, the camel stopped, and the people could not force it to continue its trip by any means. They moved the body over another camel, but again this second camel did not move from its place. The followers decided to bury him at a spot near a water well. It happened that while a shepherd was feeding his sheep in that area, a sick lamb fell on the ground. As it struggled to get on its feet again, its limp was cured. The story spread quickly, and the sick who came to this spot recovered from whatever illnesses they had just by lying on the ground. The news of these miracles spread in all the countries until the king Zenon heard of them. He had an only daughter, and she was leprous. The girl took some of the sand, moistened it with water, smeared it on her body, and slept the night in that place. When she woke up, she found herself cured. She sent word to her father, informing him of the news. Many miracles and healings have been performed by his body, and Christians used to come from all around the world to seek his intercession and receive healing grace from his body and whatever it touches. May the prayers and blessing of our honored and righteous Father, the victorious Saint Mena, be with us all, and glory be to God forever. 
Amen.